probably come in contact with at least one person per month who says that they recently moved to San Diego from the greater Chicago area. So that got me thinking, are there really that many Chicago natives moving out to the West Coast? And if so, why? After a little digging and finding this website, which shows migration patterns, I found out that the majority of wealth gained in San Diego County coming from out of state comes right from Cook County, Illinois. So it's true. There is a huge population of people relocating to San Diego coming from Chicago. So here we are. If you're living in Chicago and thinking about relocating to San Diego, then you're in the right place. In this video, we'll unpack the differences in lifestyle and culture. We'll touch on the job market and differences in the cost of living and housing. We'll be giving you all the information you need to know before making the big decision to move out to the West Coast. Let's go. Welcome back, and if this is your first time to my channel and you wanna learn everything there is to know about San Diego and surrounding areas so you can live like a local, make sure you subscribe and tap that bell to be notified so you can be first to learn about the market and lifestyle here in San Diego. My name is Jamie and my team and I help people from all over the country relocate and invest in real estate. So whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We wanna help you make a smooth move out to the best city in California where we do everything but the packing. I phoned in a few friends from Chicago to ask them what makes Chicago and San Diego so different. And here is what we got for you. First things first, let's get the weather out of the way because at this point, I think we all know that there is a vast difference in this department. If you're used to the cold winters, get ready for a big change here in San Diego. And if you love experiencing seasons change, well, Southern California is known for many things, but not for autumn colors or plowing snow. The climate here is mild year round, especially if you stay near the coast. Going 10 miles inland towards East County will get you into the triple digits in midsummer and colder in the winter. And that's mainly due because it's close to the desert. But anything close to the coast is considered mild and temperate all year long. That means lots of sunny days and the opportunity to spend more time outdoors. But we do have this thing called May gray and June gloom. And during these months, there is going to be more gray days than there is sunshine. But we are in the middle of May and it looks absolutely fabulous outside. So it's not every day, it's just most days. But after June, it really brightens up for those summer months. Winters are going to be mild. Yes, we got a ton of rain in 2023, but temperature wise, you're looking at an average of mid 50s to mid 60s during the winter season. Now there is snow, but you have to drive to it. You have the luxury of driving an hour to see the snow or a two to three hour drive to play on the slopes. Now let's talk about the cost of living. San Diego is going to be more expensive than Chicago, but it's less expensive than other major West Coast cities like Los Angeles or San Francisco. Housing can cost higher in certain areas, but there's also more affordable neighborhoods to choose from, still while staying within five miles of the coast. And don't forget, no more snow removal costs, but you might be replacing that additional cost for pool maintenance. In recent years, San Diego has made headlines for being labeled as the least affordable city or the most expensive city to live in. And the reasons why it's making these headlines are because the cost for housing has increased 20% year over year and wages are not keeping up. Let me give you an example and I'll compare the housing market in the San Francisco Bay Area, which is located in Northern California, which is going to be considerably more expensive to purchase a home there than San Diego, with an average purchase price of a home being 1.7 million. So you would think that that would make it the least affordable city, but wages are much higher there. It's the tech hub, it's Silicon Valley. So the average salary for those workers or those working in tech is about 300,000 a year, which makes it so more people can afford the mortgage on a $1.7 million house. And more often than not, a lot of the borrowers are pulling the down payment out of the stock market, which most of these companies offer these shares in the form of ESOs or RSUs to their employees. 
So once those shares are vested, they now have 300,000 plus to put down on a house. Well, San Diego just cannot compete in this department for the majority. There are high paying jobs here, but the gap is also pretty large. The headlines such as San Diego is the least affordable city in the US does hold some truth. So until wages can match the high cost of buying or even renting a home, affordability in San Diego remains quite tight. Now let's look at Chicago's cost of living. The attractiveness of Chicago is that it is considerably less expensive than New York City, but offers a similar way of life in terms of achieving that city living. So when comparing the cost of living to its biggest competitor in New York, Chicago is going to be way more achievable in that department. And then we compare it to San Diego, where the cost of living in San Diego is gonna be much higher as well, but it is California after all. When looking at the data from Rent Cafe, the average rent in Chicago is 21.15, with the average rent in San Diego being 2917. Now this is a general average. So if we're looking to stay close to the coast, then those rental costs start increasing above 3000 a month. Now I will be comparing the differences in our housing markets at the end, so make sure you stick around for that. Now let's dive into the differences in the job markets. The job market in San Diego is considered strong, particularly in biotech and tech industries. With the city being a popular vacation destination, there are also opportunities in the tourism and hospitality. Then there's education, healthcare, and defense. Those are all going to make up a large portion of the job market here in San Diego. Now let's take a look at Chicago's job market. Chicago is going to be big in finance and business sectors. There is also demand for manufacturing, there's healthcare, IT, and transportation, with Chicago being a massive hub for global exports. To compare the average salary in each area, I went to census.gov, which states that the average annual salary in San Diego is at 89,000 a year, and then Chicago is at 65,000 a year. On to my favorite topic, which is going to be culture, because after all, this should be a huge deciding factor when looking to relocate anywhere, and that's because you wanna make sure wherever you're living aligns with your lifestyle in order to provide the highest quality of life. We're gonna start with San Diego because after all, I can talk your ear off about the culture and lifestyle in San Diego. I mean, that is why we're all here, isn't it? Living in San Diego does have its benefits. It has a mixture of everything, but the biggest is going to be outdoors year round, which makes the culture centered around outdoor activities. Things like surfing, hiking, basically any water sports. You'll always see people paddle boarding and kayaking in the bay on any given day of the year. People will be windsurfing, of course, fishing, which is huge, and sailing. Those are all gonna be common here. And of course, the beach life and the various types of beach towns that we have here, they all have their own unique culture as well. The city of San Diego has 52 different neighborhoods with a lot of them having their own centralized downtown areas. So whether you're going to Pacific Beach, South Park, or Little Italy, they all come with their own unique style. There is also a strong military presence here, so you will see that there will be a lot of community events focused on the military. The city is also known for its craft brew scene with over 150 breweries in the area. You are close to Mexico, so day trips across the border, those are very common. There is this perfect balance of city, beach, and suburban life all within close proximity of each other. So whichever lifestyle you prefer, you can achieve here. Now let's talk about Chicago. Chicago is the third largest city in the US by population and is easily one of the liveliest and vibrant cities in the country. It's gonna be well known for its Chicago style pizza and their hot dogs. So we can't forget about the city's Taste of Chicago Food Festival. They are well known for having their own style of blues music and of course, sports and the art scene and just for having friendly, 
Midwestern people. And if you're a sports fan, Chicago easily has some of the best diehard sports fans. Sports culture is strong. And if you want to get in with the locals, I would start by not being a Packers or St. Louis fan. The music scene is strong in Chicago, hosting the popular Lollapalooza and World Music Festival. I feel so many residents live for summers in Chicago with everything going on. And of course, a break from the icy cold winters. Both cities are going to be vibrant in their own way, but vastly different. The one thing that makes these cities so different from one another is the ocean. One is more centered around beach life and the other is centered around city life. San Diego is a car centric city, but public transportation is also available through the metropolitan transit system. With that said though, most residents do own cars and have to commute to and from work. It's not common for people to depend solely on public transportation transportation here. There is no L train equivalent in San Diego. So comparing to Chicago, Chicago is ranked at the top of the list for having some of the best public transportation in the world. So if you're moving from Chicago to the San Diego area and you don't have a car, this is something that you want to strongly consider before making the move. We went over the differences in the cost for living, but I wanted to touch base on the differences in our housing markets. I am a realtor after all. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Chicago is going to be much more affordable. The cost to purchase a home is much less than it is here in San Diego. You can get a nice one bedroom condo located in a historic building facing Lake Michigan for two to 300,000. I'm gonna say this right now. Anything facing water in San Diego starts with the one in front of it followed by quite a few digits. Interesting enough is when I looked at the numbers at the time of recording this, which it's May of 2023, there were 6,000 available properties in Chicago. Now let's compare that to San Diego, which only has 950. 40 active homes. That is a huge difference in inventory. Now, okay, let's compare the population to see what the difference in percentage is. The population in Chicago is about 2.7 million and San Diego is 1.38 million. That means that there is one listing for every 450 people in Chicago and one in out of 469 people in San Diego. Those numbers tell me how low our inventory levels are in San Diego and how much higher inventory levels are in Chicago, making the market here in San Diego much more tight and competitive compared to Chicago. Now I do not sell real estate in Chicago, so I am basing this purely off of the numbers I see. And working in San Diego County, I can tell you firsthand just how competitive it still is, even with the current interest rates. And that is solely because we are extremely low, like I had mentioned, on the number of homes available for sale in the current market. So we're still in high demand. Yes, we are in a seller's market. There are a couple things to look at. Yes, home values are much more higher in San Diego with the average price to purchase a single family home being right around a million dollars. And the average price to purchase a home in Chicago is right around $300,000. But there are other things to consider and that are property taxes. Property taxes in California as a whole are typically right on 1%, rightfully so. And for Chicago residents, property taxes are on the higher end, averaging 6%, with some suburbs being around 9%. So make sure wherever you're looking to move to, consider the cost for property taxes because that can have an impact on deciding where to purchase a home. That's really everything I have for you today. Like I said, I have met so many people who have relocated to San Diego from the greater Chicago area, while most of them saying they moved here for the change in climate. Like really, majority of them say it's all about the climate. San Diego does rank at the top of the list in terms of great weather, but it's also important to compare the differences in the culture, lifestyle, and cost for living when looking to move to a new city. If you're ready for a change of pace, San Diego just might be the perfect city for you. Whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, know that you can give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, because we want to help you make that move when the time is right. And as always, my friends, stay classy, San Diego.